Okrika is a port town in River State, Nigeria. The town is situated on a small island south of Port Harcourt, making it a suburb of a much larger city. The average elevation of Okrika is 452 meters. It lies on the north of the Boni River and on Okrika Island, 35 miles upstream from the Bright of Benin. The town can be reached only by vessels of 29 feet or less. Formerly a small fishing village of the Ijo people in the mangrove swamps of the eastern Niger River Delta, Okrika became the capital of the Okrika Kingdom in the early 17th century. Today the story is different for the fishing community that cannot do what they do for a living because of the pollution of the waterways. By this debris, some of the substance here, you see, what we call uh, water is sent, the debris. Some are poisonous. They kill fish. Do some also feed fish. So it has two way effect. One very dangerous and one sometimes good for us. But the rotting is a total menace and a disgrace to the citizen of uh, this place. The the challenges that has been faced here is way beyond explanation, except being experienced. Truly, the government needs to do a lot. The social and economic impacts on the Okrika people, River State and Nigeria at large, cannot be imagined. The villagers are appealing to the government to come to their aid before the community is totally taken over by the sea. They don't have, like, a blockage of the water. Some of the houses are being submerged by the water. As the, as the tide begins to rise, some houses are being submerged. And this is actually a problem. And some some of the people who live here are indigenous of River State yeah. and they have their families here. Yeah. While, we were dra while we were actually passing out, we saw some houses already collapsing and some persons are still living inside the house. People here are being neglected by the River State government and need to be um, urgently attended to before things actually get out of hand. The problem is, yeah, we are fishing, but the fish, there's no fish here. There's just management. Not saying they catch them, they not catch them. The way we are catching, small, small. Formerly, uh, for, formerly the fish have been jumping everywhere. We catch plenty, pull the boat, kind of go, feed our family. But now, we are suffering. More thing, even single one, not the other. The kind of fishes you can actually get from the water now because of the polluted um, environment, called polluted water. So you can see how small they are. How many persons can this actually feed? <laughs> Before, I they managed fishing. They train my children. But now, nothing because of the river. No fish. Because of the everything in the river, both dirty and everything, no way to fishing again. No single fish in the river. Presently now, nothing. Not only me alone, for everybody. Now here we have all vessel passing. Everywhere don't call finish. Before the V, more than those sticks, we are houses a day. Now we come the small. Please, if it, they can survey the area for us. We like them too. To help us, give us the fishing materials to continue, we like them too. Because now we are stranded. According to the chairman and members of the Speedboat Association of Okrika, boats plying the waterways have been subjected to terror from sea pirates who have unleashed their presence on the fishing community, passengers killing security operatives in the process while cutting away personal belongings of individuals, including taking away boat engines during such attacks. We have told you all the challenges confronting us. Is it the piracy? It is the, uh, the debris uh, infested uh, uh, rivers we are flying now. We are still crying unto government. Government should come to our aid. We will not want to increase our fare to give threats to the ever-ready commuter public because we want to make up. It is our own area in trying to support government in helping the people. We are crying to government. Government should look at this area of the people's endeavor and come, and come to our aid. The Federal Inland Waterways is just there. All that government wants from us is unending revenue. Where do we get the revenue to give the government? We have 
have seen for yourself. And this is our plight. We are on our knees, begging the government to come and help us. We are doing our best here to support government and to the help of our uh, everyday citizens. So this is our plight. From Boni to Okrika down to Ogoni River, it's been hell for the people of these communities, from killings to piracy to the pollution of the waterways. The future doesn't seem to be bright, except the government does the needful and put all in place not only to ensure safety of life and properties, but that the island kingdom of Okrika does not disappear from the map. To enjoy more of these our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.